Well, hello folks, this is Jamil Sir for Gunshark Reviews. We're here in Scottsdale, Arizona at C2 Tactical, our favorite indoor facility, continuing our series of videos called the Not Shot Show Week. Of course, I won't be able to attend SHOT Show this year, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to bring you the gr latest and greatest from all the manufacturers that we have featured here in the, in the past. Today we're going to talk about Springfield Armory. What do they have new for 2022? Uh, number one, the Hellion Carbine. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen. It is really, really nice. I can wait to do a complete review on it. As soon as the SHOT Show, we'll go ahead and have some time to do that. We're kind of rushed doing these videos to get you up to date with the latest and greatest from Springfield. What else do they have? They have, of course, the Garrison 1911, which we'll be reviewing here shortly. We have the operator, which you've seen in the past. We've done a video on it. We have done the Ronin EMP, which is this one here. We changed the grips on it, of course. You, you knew I was going to do this. We took the wood grips out and put uh, Miltec grips on it and took the uh, hex uh, torque screws out and put flathead screws, which are my favorite, but here it is. Really good and accurate little nine millimeter pistol. We have the emissary. We haven't done a review on the emissary yet, okay? But we were gonna do it here pretty soon. So we'll get a complete range report on the emissary with features like the tri-top of the slide, um, the flat trigger, the hand grenade grips, which are pretty cool, and the hand grenade cuts in the front strap, and the square trigger guard. I have a couple of holsters for it too that we're going to show you. Up, uh, I talk about them. There's a couple of really good manufacturers making holsters specifically for it, and of course, last but not least, the SA35. We haven't done this yet, but we will do that right after Shot Show. We'll do a complete review accuracy testing and of course I'm going to tell you all the upgrades I'm going, to, I'm going to do to it which is the grips. Nothing wrong with these grips, they're really comfortable but here in Arizona wood grips don't last too long. Our weather changes in humidity and temperature so drastically that wood grips as beautiful as these are they don't last long. They start to look like dirt in no time so I'm going to be using Miltac grips for it but like I said, this pistol, it is so cool. The no bite hammer, the high visibility sights, the rear sight is serrated. The front dot is just perfect. Um, what can I say? There's little or nothing you need to do to this SA-35. This is a great pistol and I can't wait to test it. We'll do some ballistic testing with it too, just because. And, and that's pretty much it for Springfield Armory for this year. But you gotta check it out. They have a lot of new products and we will continue to bring you more products from Springfield Armory in the near future. So stay tuned for these reviews that we have coming up soon. And like always guys, please remain healthy, stay safe and definitely have fun at the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.